Hey everybody, Oko here, and welcome back to our playthrough of Final Fantasy XI. We're starting our adventure here on Quitham Island. Now, um, when we originally were here in this exact spot, we fought those Mandragoras that we were sort of bombarded with, that whole series of them, and we got through that, and we sort of ended the video, but we could have gone through one more cutscene, which I actually didn't uh, do. I, I didn't realize that we had to finish this section of the Crystalline Prophecy storylines by clicking on these question marks. So let's do it right now. <clears throat> the sea crystal, its echo, they did not arise from nothingness. They were drawn to this world by a song, a song that rings out ceaselessly from within a mother's heart. Mortals, do you not see? You are dealing with powers far beyond your control. The seed crystals, eh? So that oversized slab of rock has a name. I had a hunch that following that crystal would lead me somewhere. Looks like this is where things start to get interesting. Well met, Oko. I see you've still got a nose for trouble. Now, what in Altana's good name is going on here? And what were those overgrown bean sprouts blathering on about? A song without a mother's heart? Ah, so you must be Aldo. Yes, you have your sister's eyes. What? Boy, what did you say just now? Finally we meet, uncle. Mother named me Aldo too, after you. Young Aldo, huh? Just one minute, kid. Are you saying your mom is my sister? That you're... Emmeline's son? My sister still lives? I'm afraid we've no time to celebrate this family reunion now, Uncle. We must unearth and release the Antiphon, and quickly, before the ancient echo reduces our world to so many pieces of shattered crystal. Luckily, you just may prove to be the key to it all, Uncle Aldo. Yes, you just might be able to break the resonance between Mother and the Seed Crystal. What nonsense is this? What does Emmeline have to do with this so-called seed crystal? You expect me to believe this childish fantasy? A fantasy? I think not, uncle. No, there can be no doubt. Can you not hear it? A prayer of life. Yes, this world must be saved, no matter how great the cost. If you wish to save mother, if you care for your sister you once knew, make haste for Fei Yin. The servants of the Seed Crystal will not hesitate to pull their dark schemes into action. Hold it right there, boy. I must know. Where is Emmeline? What's been done to her? Oh, you'll have your answers soon enough, my dear uncle. What the? Curses, brat! Seed crystals and ancient songs. This is all patently absurd. But if the boy speaks true and my sister truly still lives, for all these years I thought I had lost you forever that day. By the goddess, I won't let them take you from me again, Emmeline. Fay in, he said. I'd best be on my way. And Oko, I trust you to keep quiet about what you've seen here today. If these unfound claims of the world's end reached the three nations, we'd have nothing short of mass panic on our hands. I intend to uncover what information I can and suggest that you do the same. But until we find out if the boy's words hold water, we're not to speak a word of this, not even to one another, until we meet again. F 
Fei Yin. That is where our next destination is going to be. So, let's head to Fei Yin and continue the storyline. All right, we're back at Fei Yin. Ah, Oko, we have no time to lose. Mother is being held captive within the walls of the Kubia Arena. I tried to get in, only to find my entry thwarted by a curious magical barrier. This must be the power of the Seed Crystal. You have only one choice. We must harness this power for ourselves and use it to negate the shield that bars our way. Remnants of the crystal's glow can be found scattered throughout these ruins. Their light has grown weak, and their power unstable. But if you can retrieve them all before their power fades, they will fuse to form the Mark of Seed. This is the key that will open our path. Do hurry, Oko. Mother is waiting for us, and time is of the essence. So we have a little adventure and a little something to do here in Fei Yin. It's been a while since we've hung out around here. There's the crystal that'll take us to the arena. But we have to go around here and find these shattered remnants of a crystal, I guess. Um, it sounds like, we're, sounds like time is going to play a part here. Probably going to have to do everything within a certain time period. Huh. Okay. I better figure this out. Wow, my, look how dark it is. Barely see my face there. Huh. Okay. So, we'll just do this one by one. I'll put together a party. Let's go with X and Mile. I think uh, we're going to go up to this first room here. And there is where we're going to find the first one. Go through here. Yeah. So most things are not going to be aggroing us. We should be able to just run past most things. Yeah, at the level that we're currently at. There's something in this room. I'm looking at a map here on the wiki. But where is it? How do we find this? Hmm, how do I find it? Uh, oh, is that over there? No. it. Seed Afterglow. Alright, so there it is. You see a soft shimmering light. You reach out to the light and one facet of a curious seed shaped emblem materializes on the back of your hand. It emanates an otherworldly red radiance. However, the light dwindles and grows dim almost at once. So, the next one. Um, we gotta go to these big rooms. We want to go straight north. We'll go down this corridor here, and we'll go to the large one in the large room in the middle. Yeah, so we'll just try and do this as quick as we can. No, no fighting, no unnecessary fights. I think we have about half an hour to do all this. It is a lot. There's a lot yet to get. Nine of them, I think. Yeah, there's one in this room. So, let's look around for it. 
Hmm, look for sparklies, huh? Hmm. Oh. I see something. Alrighty, what do we got here? Ah, back in your hand. So uh, an orange radiance, the emblem on your hand. Okay, good. So next. Uh, we want to go uh, north and then right. Excuse me. You shaking the ground? You having a little tantrum there? Mm -hmm. So down here, this room has one. It. All right, this should be number three. This should be yellow, right? Let me guess. Oh, this one's green. Interesting. Okay. Now we want to go south and then left. Is that the right way? Yeah. Hopefully these guys leave us alone here. Remember these shadows? We had to sneak past them when we were here before. Yeah, looks like it's okay now. There should be one in this room. Yeah. Let's see here. Where do we got? a little note on the um, wiki that said that number four had moved. So let's see. I'll go to the other spot they're saying. So I'll go down here and then go left. So oh, it says it's in this room, this little room at the end of this hall. Yep, it's true. All right, so there's the yellow. So now I gotta go to the other floor. It seems. a one way. Oh, I hate that. Really? Hmm. Wow. That sucks.
understand. It's blocked from every way. I'm stuck. Uh, I think I've already lost this because we've already taken too much time, I think. Um, anyway, I guess I'll just keep going. Okay, well, I don't really know how to do this. I'm looking at a map. I'm trying to get here because this is where the staircase is to the next floor we have to get to. But I've gone around this whole floor and there's no way to get to it. It's blocked. Every single way is blocked. This way is blocked. Um, and up here it's blocked. Every And up here it's blocked. There's no entry points to it. So I don't know what's going on. I don't really know how to get over these hurdles. So, I don't know. I... Oh. I think I... Okay, I found another entrance. Oh, shoot.
lost a lot of time there, but that's okay. If we have to do it over, we will. Now we're looking, we gotta look in these rooms. I wonder if we can just see through the, through the grates. There's a whole bunch of these. Oh, I think I saw it. There we are. No! Ah. So what color was that one? White. A white radiance. All right, so let's keep going. The emblem on your hand glows with even greater intensity. That's good. room straight ahead. This huge room straight ahead. There's one in there. That's the sixth one. Let's see if we can find it quickly. I'm trying to regain a little uh, time here because I wasted trying to find the wrong... I wasted trying to enter the wrong... the floor from the wrong way. There it is. I see it straight ahead. So now we want to go over here to this area. So I guess we'll just go straight ahead. Okay, I hope they give us enough time on this. It's tough. I haven't really seen any pop-ups telling us how much time we have left. I was kind of expecting that, but that's okay. So I'm just going to go straight across in this room. Just ignore all these dromas. Okay, so we're going to go down here and now there's more of these rooms. we got to find the... could be in one of these rooms. Well, it's nice that you can kind of see through. It might have been that one. i got to check. No. It's not in there. I'm going to trust these grates. <laughs> we have quite a lot of what we have quite a few to check. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is nerve-wracking. I don't want to check all of these. Is that it? It's eight. There's eight of them. I guess that's it. Darn it! I guess we got to check these, guys. Ah, darn! Try and do it quick. Oh, there it is. Oh, thank gosh. That wasn't too bad. Why, I wonder why we didn't see that one. All right. We got through that one quick. Now, eight. Um, South. Yeah. So, we've got a bunch more rooms to check. Starting around here. I mean, it's basically this huge area. Yeah, all these rooms here. We gotta check these, so let's start with this one. And this one. 
Oh, I think it was in there. Wow. We got to get in first, dude. So that was quick. And we got out in time. Okay, good. Now we're not the ninth one. Okay, so now we just got to get through this and we got to go. Now we got to get to that other uh, stairway, I guess. Oh, I hope we get this. Hope we have enough time to do this. Okay, so turn right. Oh, the mark of seed is about to dissipate entirely. I don't think we're going to have time to do this. But we'll try. We have one more to go. Yeah, I don't think we did it quick enough. But at least we'll go through everything. And I can do another attempt off screen. If we don't succeed. We'll see. Yeah, this is right. So this way is the... The way that connects to the other map. The first map we were on. I was trying to get to this, but... Anyway, I guess we still have to get all... I wonder if we have to still get to the Kubia arena as well. I wonder if that's part of the... Challenge. So this one should be easier to find, though. We don't have to check rooms. Hopefully we can just get to that last one in time. Get these bats out of the way. So let's check this room. Is it in here? No. Then we'll check this room over here. Wrong way. That's a costly maneuver. Did not want to go that way. So it could be in this room. But it is not. Um, yep. I wonder if there's some sort of food we can eat that can make us walk faster. I bet you there is. That would probably really help here. Our movement speed. Or even better, it would be nice if we had our mounts. So there it is. So let's see if we did this in time. And if we still have to go to the, Kubi the Kubia Arena. Oh, which item will you obtain? Wow. So what do we want? We want the Mark of Seed. All right, we obtained the Kieta Mark of Seed. So, now we're gonna go to the Kubia, the, the Kubia Arena. We could probably just walk here if we can get over these hurdles. It's right over there on the right, so let's... How am I gonna get there? This way. So here's one of the blockades, so I guess it's sort of like a ramp, yeah. So there you go, that's why. God, that was driving me crazy trying to get around those. Well, I'm glad that we don't have to do all that all over again. Although, it looks like there was another key... What was the other key item there? Oh, I don't know, but I got it on tape. But, um, yeah, I wonder what that other item is. I guess that's just for re something else. I don't know. I'll look into that. Whoops, we're going the... Yeah, okay. Yeah, fine, we can go this way. So I'll just meet you guys when we get to the uh, arena. Alright, here we are. We made it. Here's our little safe space. Let's go for this. Let's see how we do here. Burning circle. <laughs> so 
so you have come. We are the servants of the Seed Crystal. Enlightened by the ancient echo, we have traveled long and far to this sacred land. At the origin of time, there was only nothingness. An empty void, blacker than the blackest night. The seed crystal emerged from the darkness, shining forth with the light of life. And so it was the paradise, and the ancient gods were born. So it has been sung since time immemorial. This world, Benadil, the five mortal races. It was Altana's boundless love for the lost gods that birthed you from the nothingness. Now the hour is nigh for you to return whence you came. Benadil will perish and you will return to the rightful place in the void. Pitiful, wretched mortals. To think that the very love that begot you will now be your ruin! There's Aldo's sister. Okay. Will now be your ruin. I guess that's just the intro to the actual battle. So let's make a, an attempt at it. Those who lurk in the shadows. So, yep, so we lost the Mark of Seed. So if we want to redo this after this, we're going to have to go through all that again. All that Thayan nonsense. But yeah, we'll give it a try here. We'll see. We're pretty high level. Let's put our group together. We'll do the usual... And then, of course, we're going to have one of our curry buns. All right, here we go. So, we got to fight these uh, creatures. Hope I'm going the right way here. Yeah. I wonder what that other room was. To the left. Okay. So, I'll go after this orc first. Seed orc. So, let's see how we do here at level 91. Releasing abilities. We could go Rampart, Warcry. Okay, let's just see how we do here for a little bit. Let's see if we can get rid of one. Yikes! Yeah, the frame rate is really low right now because there's just so much being done. Lots of magic being cast. So let's see if we can get rid of a few of these. I don't know where the goblin is. He must be running around somewhere. Apparently the goblin is a thief. And he can do some sneaky things like creep up behind you. Ugh, I can't seem to move. I'm bound right now. Darn it! Who did that? Ugh, there we go. More than halfway down the first one here. I think we're doing okay. Yikes, something keeps bumping me around. Hmm. Okay, we did it. Now we're on to the Kadav. Yeah, the goblin's behind me. Okay, the Kadav. We just went to the Kadav, so let's just go with that. We'll do them in order. Oh, I think the goblin stabbed me in the back. I think that's why I'm getting bumped around. That's not very nice. I think I might go after the goblin next. Alright, so I got a full uh, TP bar here. So, let's see. I got a good... Nice full... Hit point bar. So, let's go with the spirits within. Didn't work. Hmm, doesn't seem to be working. Here we go. 
I don't know, maybe I'm silenced or something? Is that affecting it? I can't seem to use my weapon skills. There we go, now it worked. Ugh, get rid of this guy. It's driving me nuts. Okay, yeah, I'm switching to the goblin after this, because I just can't stand that goblin. Okay, here we go. So, the goblin and uh, the Yaguda. The Yagudo is a white mage, and the, yeah, like I said, the goblin's a thief. The Kadav was a red mage, but we killed him pretty quick. He didn't last long. What happened? Whoa, the camera went, oh, it's because he transported. Wow, we lost, uh... Whoa, that was weird. It, like, kind of canceled my the attack. Oh, Puru's almost dead. Yikes. Come on, guys. Kill this goblin. He's horrible. <laughs> oh, I hate this goblin. Oh, okay. This isn't going well. Okay, we're gonna have to go with the Yugoto first, I guess. The goblin keeps tra beaming around and it ruins things. have to deal with the golden last. And I'm going to build my TP bar and save that for the goblin for sure. Alright, so the C yeah, he's revealing himself, I think, this Yabuto. Darn it! That he is a white mage. Come on, guys, let's go. But down to a third. I don't like having a goblin behind me. Alright, he's almost gone. Okay, here we go. Get this guy, guys. Come on, here we go. You know, he's just gonna move around, but hopefully we'll just be able to Retarget him as soon as he moves around, kill him. And I'm gonna use some heavy firepower here. I have a full hit point bar right now. Let's see if I can get it full and then use spirits within is always good. So he's not dead. Sneaky, huh? Here we go. Come on, there we go. Now he's almost gone. Oh, so mean. He just jabs me right in the back. Oh, he's bad. Apparently you can't avoid that. If you can somehow time it, you can move right out of the way before he does it. But I don't have a lot of practice with that right now. Okay, he's almost gone. Here we go. I think we're, I think we got him. Yeah, he just landed on his little bum there. Now he's gonna fade away. All right, that was a tough one. That seed goblin. Wow, he was the toughest out of all four of them. Foolish mortals. What know you of love? What know you <coughs> of hatred? The seed crystal has returned to this world, summoned by the strains of the ancient lay. The song this woman sings with her heart Though she realizes it not, 
Ancient, terrible memories, long since lost to the sands of time, come flooding back, and the fate of this world comes full circle! Oof! Before long, the primeval melody will reverberate through the Hall of the Gods. You are too late. Vanadil's return to the Void is inevitable. We obtain the key item, Ivory Key, and 700 experience points. Yeah, we're in that room again that I never seem to know how to get out. Our next move is going to be towards the Gate of the Gods at Romave. So, let's head to Romave and see what happens. Entering the Hall of the Gods through Romave. Emmeline, can you hear me? What? Where? Where am I? It says Matilde. Is her name. Or Matilda, I guess it would be. Aldo? Is that you? So who's Emmeline, if this is Matilda? Emmeline, could it truly be? After all these years? Aldo, my... Brother! No! Emmeline! No! Where are you taking me? Aldo, help me! Curses! No, I won't let them take you from me again. It's no use, uncle. Where she is now, no words can reach her. Mother's dreaming, you see. Lost in a waking dream, just like me. in slumber, freed from the restraints of my physical body, it is here that the voice of the seed crystal speaks to me. I awaken, only to remember nothing. It's the same for mother, you see. Only in her dreams does she remember a past too frightening, too painful to face with waking eyes. Only in her dreams does she remember you, Uncle Aldo. Knowing this, 
Would you open your eyes to the light of the world once more? The choice belongs to you alone, uncle. And the power to save this world from destruction is yours, Oko. You and all living beings on Vanadil, it is your will to live, your deep love for the world you call home. That is the key. Only you can instill the antiphon with the strength to counteract the echo. So what will your choice be, Uncle Aldo? Oko? Will you silence the echo to save this world from destruction? Even knowing it would mean death for the sister you knew? Will you do what must be done? If you have the courage to answer, make way for the stellar fulcrum at the peak of Delkfoot's tower. We'll be waiting for you there. Perhaps we're all just living inside the crystal's dream. Emmeline. All right, so that's basically all we had to do here. Uh, yep, so our next destination is very clear. It is the Stellar Fulcrum at the peak of Delkfoot's Tower. So let's not waste any time. Let's head there right now. So, those are our targets for this next little mission that we're going to be going on. Um, is that a person? Yes, there's somebody else here. Basically, we're going to be heading... First of all, I think I'm going to call my... Well, do I want the party? Yeah, we better. We're going to have a party with us, even though we're probably not going to be using them. We're going to be sneaking around with silent oils and prison powders. And the reason we're going to be doing that become very clear very soon. Um, who, we st I guess we'll stick with Volker. He's working out pretty well. And I like having somebody from all three regions. Sandoria, Bastok, and Winders from the party. Volker is from Bastok. So, here's a seed fragment. So, do we touch the crystal? It glitters before us. The crystal pulsates with an otherworldly energy. As we approach, the overwhelming force of a vacuum threatens to suck us inside the crystal. Alright, well that eliminated our trusts. Yeah, that's right. I just remembered. We're not actually allowed trusts for this. <laughs> and yeah, so we're level capped at 30. Let's take a look at that. So, there we are. We're 30. Uh, level 30, Paladin. Level 15, war Subjob Warrior. Once again, it's been a while. Um, equipment affected by the level restriction. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, so what we're going to do is... And we're all on our own for this. Ah, uh, so lower Delkfoot's Tower. This is the first floor. Um... Let's just head over to the first one here. I guess I'll just use my items right away, because I don't. we're not going to be fighting. It'll be much faster to go through things. Wait, first we do the silent oil. We have to do these in the right order. And second, we do the prism powder. All right, we brought lots of them, as you can see. And we'll be able to get past all of these. So, this might be it here. Seed Afterglow. Now, what's going to happen when I do this? Is, am I going to aggro these guys? Let's see. Oh, what? We can't do it while we're invisible. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Well. Well. 
We might have to fight some battles. All right, so we obtained the key item. Um, 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 miss, um, miss, what? A Misha stone. And we'll try and use a prison powder as quick as we can. Okay, so there we go. And it keeps our silent, our, the silence on. Interesting. Okay, so we got the first one. So we have to go to each floor and get the item, basically. <laughs> Yeah, so we want to go to the second floor now. Okay, so we want to go to the upper... Hold on. Oh, we got to... All the way around. Okay, I got it. I think we're looking the right way. Is this it? Yeah. Oh, it's disorienting. It's been a while since we've been here. I forgot. This place is very big. Very long passages, but we're basically always going to be going on the right... I'll have to figure out which enemies will be aggroing specifically to sight. Just so we can make sure those ones for sure we're getting carefully. But it looks like we can remove the invisible with a cure and keep the silent on. That seemed to work. Yep, so just keep going. We're going all the way around to the stairs. So yeah, this level restriction prevents trusts and caps you with 30, so... Yeah, I don't know. This would be pretty challenging, I would think, to do this at level 30 on, like, solo. I guess there's, like, job classes like Puppet Master and Beast Master where... And I guess Summoner where you can sort of uh, provide extra help. Well, it's still considered solo, but... I don't know how a paladin would do it. It would be poof, pretty tough. So here we go. Let's go up to the second floor. This next one is right in the middle here somewhere. Should be seeing it around. Mm, let's take a look at our map. Yeah. I think it's around this pillar here. This one here on the left. Aha! Uh -huh. Is it over here? What? No? Oh. Where is it here? We are searching. We are searching. Hmm, I don't see it. Oh, there it is. There it is, and there's nothing around it. Nice and convenient. Magic, we'll just do cure. Veritas stone. Now we're going to go up to the third floor. How do we go up? Hmm, we got to go back to B and go down. Um. Yeah, we got to go to the other side. They're being sneaky, I think. Are they? I don't know. Oh, I see. No, it is on this floor. Oh, I just... Didn't look careful enough. Um, let's go this way. All right, so here's a room with a bunch of robots. We're going to go straight ahead. 
Yikes. And then we're going to take this and it's going to turn to the right and we're just going to go all the way down to as far as we can before it makes us turn right once again. So here we go. Here's a long stretch. There will be a way to go to the right, but we're going to go past that because that just goes back to the room we were just in. And then on this right, there's a little place where you can drop down, I guess, to the first floor. I don't know why you'd want to do that and I'm not going to test it out. Mm -hmm. All the way down here and then to the right. And then we'll be uh, heading towards the stairs to the next floor. And here we are. There they are. There's the stairs. So up we go. Where it'll take us, we don't know. We're going to find out. Well, I sort of know. I'm looking at a map. <laughs> All right. So, here we are. This is the third floor. So, the third floor, it's at I-9. Let's see here. So, I-9. Well, that seems to be... Oh, I see. The very corner there. Unless it's right over here. No, we're in I-9, so it's the other corner of I-9, so let's get there. I'm going to keep an eye on the silence, because when that wears off, we got to make sure that we re reapply. This must be a grounds tome, I'm assuming. Yes, of course. Don't know when we're ever going to have time to do those. Oh, boy. Might have to skip the grounds tomes, my friends. I don't know. It's just too much content. We'll see. Something's got to give. <laughs> um, uh -oh. Don't get lost. Um, yeah, we got to go south. All the way south. So we get to I-9. I guess that's it there. Don't really like that that goblin is... Goblin l leecher is just hanging out there. It kind of sucks. Yeah, you know, let's just wait for him to walk away a little bit. Oh, Sneak is about to wear off. A decent challenge. Eh, I don't want a decent challenge. Oh. Okay, good. All right, silent oil. And prison powder. <laughs> okay, so we got all three. There we are. We got all three of the stones for the first three floors. So, now let's head up to the fourth floor, which will bring us f out of uh, lower Delkfoot's Tower and bring us into middle Delkfoot's Tower. Um, yeah, so that's right up this way, north. Now, it's also going to remove, I think it said on the online on the encyclopedia, I think it said that it's going to remove our uh, what do you call it? This one, this level restriction when we go up and we have to reapply it. So we'll make sure that we do that first and foremost. Somewhere around here, we have to reapply. It should be right by the elevator, I think. Oh, here it is. So we come to this. Touch the crystal, yes. 
our level is currently restricted again, so we're good. We got the little emblem there up here. Level restricts, yeah. This one, all we have to do is head down to this. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Oh, that was way too loud. Holy, so we're heading down to this room here. I was not expecting <laughs> my computer to all of a sudden start ringing from my phone. Yikes. Oh my gosh, we don't have any things on. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Don't take another step. Oh my god, that's... That was close. Okay, now we're safe. Yikes. <laughs> I almost engaged battle with all those bats. So I think it's this way. Yep. Let's head down here. And then here we're going to want to go left. So this room coming up is the room. Yeah, there it is. Straight ahead. So. I guess these guys are okay with... These are, guys are okay with the site. Oh my gosh. Here we go, guys. We gotta fight. We got the stone. Sans Sans Sanctit Sanctitus stone. And the good thing about this uh, quest that we're sort of on, this adventure, is if we die, uh, we don't have to get all those stones over again. We can just go all the way through back to where we, wherever we die and just pick up. So it should be okay. I'm not too worried about things. Oh, we're not doing very well. We've hardly taken off any. Oh, we're going to die. <laughs> yeah, we died. Oh my gosh, we have to keep... Wow, we have to keep those... Uh, yeah, those veils up silence and so I wonder if he saw us or heard us huh hmm okay anyway like I said I'm not worried at all because all we have to do is go through it now um, just run through everything I'll be right back and another good thing about this is that you don't lose experience points when you have that temporary restriction on so, we didn't lose any experience from that, so it's perfectly fine. Nothing to worry about. While I'm here, I'm gonna check out the auction house. I've been looking for ram skins and dalmo hides lately. Let's see if there's any available. Oh yeah, I've been buying a lot of furnishings too lately. Ram skins, yeah, no. There hasn't been any for a while. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if I have the furnishings. Yeah, I bought tons of furnishings. I might have already put them in the Mog House. Mm, yeah, I don't think I have them with me. Yeah, I bought some oak logs because I want to see if I can make an oak table. Hmm. Oh yeah, we got this red crab. Uh, this was a free gift, part of the Vanadil anniversary celebration going on right now and you know and we've been getting a special gobi key every single why don't we do that right now <laughs> maybe i'll go open some gobi boxes first item he's gonna give us a savior mantle Second item he's giving us. A Mamul Ja helmet. So generous. 
Let's see. What is the third item he's gifting us today? A scout's jerkin plus one. The fourth item. An attestation of harmony. God knows what that is. We'll take it all. We'll take a look at all these things in just a sec. Where's the last one? There it is. The last key for now. Yeah, just keep on logging in every day and they'll give you a free Gobi key for now. And we get a shock absorber too. All right, so let's take a look at those items. So the first one, save your mantle. Level 99, white mage, blue, black mage, red mage, bar. Yep, nothing for us. So we'll be trying to get rid of that. A Mamulja helmet, an iron helmet formerly worn by a Mamulja fighter. Due to its odd shape, only Mamulja can wear it. Okay, well, I'll probably be getting rid of that. A Scout's Jerkin. This is level 75 Ranger. I'll have to get rid of that. This piece, this is an attestation of harmony. This piece of papyrus certifies that you have mastered music. All right. Shock Absorber 2, an earthen-based automaton attachment. Huh? Functionality use stone skin. I have no idea what that is. Anyway. Let's see if I can sell some of those ar armored pieces at least. Here, we'll try here. At Rizal's. Sometimes these things we get from Gobi Bag we can't sell. Well, I can sell this for, for not very much. And the Savior Mantle I can sell for almost 4,000, so let's get rid of it. Hmm, can't get rid of these, huh? Well, I guess I'll just be heading back to the Delkfoot Tower then. Yep, and we'll just pick up, let me just look at key items. I'm sure they're temporary. Here they are. Atmositia stone. Yeah, these were the stones we were getting, so we have them. Yeah, so we don't have to get them again. Yep, anyway, so I'll just meet you guys where we died, and we'll just pick right up where we left off. Okay, so straight ahead, that's the place where we died. So, but we got that stone. So we can just walk right past that one and move on to the next one. So we're moving on to the fifth fl uh, floor. So to get there, we're gonna go straight ahead here, which will curve to the left. Mm-hmm. And then we're gonna come to an intersection and turn right, I believe. Uh-oh, I hope we can do that. Oh, no, that's wrong. Left. Yeah, left and then right. Here we are. There's our right. Then we're going to go up and we're going to take the first right. And then the first left. And that's where we'll find our elevator. Not there. That takes us back down to lower Delk Foot. We want to go this way. Here's the stairs. Oh, walk past the magic pot. Can't fight any of those at level 30. This has to be the only way I could do this. I mean, I th think I read online that you can do this as a dancer or something like that. Is also another way to do it. I don't know. I don't really know how that job class works because we haven't even encountered any, encountered any dancers yet. All right. So here we are on the, the fifth floor. All right. So though we want to go to G7.
So that is straight this way, I believe. Yep, straight ahead. So let's see if we can pull off another 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 little quick maneuver here to get this stone without having to redo this every single floor. I could potentially see that happening. Oh, gosh, there's too many things around. So what are we going to do, huh? That's what we want. Can't do it while we're invisible. All right, well, let's go around the corner. We'll, we'll just try the thing where we're just silent. Let's go over here, though. All right, let's see how see how this works. Well, it it it's a, it got us. Darn it. Darn 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 and it even bound us to boot. All right, let's I'll, I'll see if I can warp out of here. So, we're going to have to just do this floor by floor, I think, guys, but that's okay. For you guys it won't take that long. It's just going to take a little longer for me to have to go through this, but Oh, well, that's all right. I don't mind. I, I can do this for an evening. We're on the sixth one. Oh, pardon me. That was the... That was the sixth one. Or no, that was the, the fifth? We're on the fifth floor. The floor where we last died. Um, yeah, so we got the stone on this floor. So we're good. Uh, the room where we died was right down here. <laughs> I think. It was... Yep. So was it in here? Yeah, this was the room. So we got it. So now, yeah, we're going to just continue on. So now we're heading down this way and we're heading uh, straight for here. This is going to be like a way up, I hope. So let's just see. The sneak and invisible should be good. And I think... Yeah, that'll take us up to the sixth floor. I hope. And then that will be, I think, the last floor of the middle Delkfoot Tower. I think each one is three levels, each section. I think. But we'll find out. We will know because we will zone in to a new area. Right. Up we go. Here we are. Up to the Sixth floor. So, yep, there we are. So now, where's the stone on this one? The Davi the Davicia stone is at F8. F8. It's in that one right there. Straight ahead. Yeah. Around this block in the middle. So hopefully we can still get there on this single prison powder and silent oil. Yeah, I think there's an elevator that goes up to the upper Delk Foot Tower, so I might be able to skip if I have to go through it again, which I probably will. Not to be negative or anything, but we'll just see how this goes. Go down this long corridor, and then we'll be in the room we want to be. Right this way, sir. All the way down here, there's this round circular room. So this is where we're going to find our sixth stone, and hopefully the last stone on the middle Delphi Tower. All right, should I just run in like I normally do? I guess so. Were we spotted? Yes, we were. I don't think these are going to help us. 
No, they didn't. Okay, we're getting out of here. All right, so there it is. We got the we got the stone. Hopefully, we can get out of here before dying. So, Divicious Stone. I'll just do the same thing. Come back through this once we're ready. We're on the sixth floor. Yeah, we gotta use teleport to get up. There's no stairs up to the seventh. So here we are. We'll take this. Oh, by the way, I was wrong about the um, only being three floors for the middle Delkfoot. It's way more than that. Middle Delkfoot Tower has. Oh my god. I'm naked. Hold on. Panicking. Okay. Yikes, I was just scared there for a sec. Yeah, there was no... There's six floors on Middle Duckfoot Tower. Where are we now, huh? So, we're on this... This is the seventh floor. And we're looking for H9. So that's right in the middle. That should be just basically like straight ahead. Somewhere around here. What's that? Oh, an elemental. Hmm. There it is. Maybe we can get it. Let's see. Stadium Stone. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we got lucky there. Good. <laughs> so we got a freebie there, a stadium stone. So now we want to get to the eighth floor. I guess we're taking the stairs. It's northwest. Oh, that's good. That makes me happy. That saves us a lot of time. Well, me a lot of time. So, we should be seeing a staircase around here somewhere. Let's just take a look at our map. I'll keep going. We gotta travel a bit further. Whew! That got my adrenaline going a little bit. Whew, my heart's pumping. Eighth floor. There's two more floors on middle Delkfoot Tower. There's another grounds tome, no doubt. Yeah. We don't need that. So here we are. Eighth floor. On the 8th floor, it's at I-8. I-8. So over on the right side there. Let's see. Go straight ahead. Lots of gigas around here, huh? Oh! I'm making noise! I'm making noise. Darn it. Let's see if I can hide a bit. Uh, where's the item? Maybe I can make a run for it. Where is it? Oh, I see it. It's way over there. I'm going to go for it. So we got the Amora Stone. I think we might be safe here. Oh, thank gosh. Job well done. Let's go up then to another floor. Let's see here. Wow, we did that one quick. Um, just basically north of here, right straight up here. There it is. That's the staircase. Yeah, we're doing good on the silent o uh, silent oils and prison powders. <laughs> so this is good, because if we can get this one now, uh, if I die and I have to go back through everything, at least I can just... Um, because I don't have to recast the uh, restriction um, until you get to the 
the after the zone. What I'm trying to say is I can just run through it at level uh, 91 until I have to actually. I'm babbling. Ninth floor. We want to go to G8. So G8, right in the middle there, huh? How am I gonna? Wait a minute. How am I gonna get over there? Oh boy! Look what we have to do. We have to go down and then move and then come up. Oh, that's nasty. Okay. Well, obviously we want to go down. I think it's okay. I think it's pretty straightforward. We go down here and then we go down. And there's only one way to go. Oh, it looks like someone's been here. Or that, or unless that's a treasure coffer. I guess it could be. We have to go down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now we move along there and then just go back up. That's how it works. Oh, how I wish I could fight that, but it would kill us. I could really use... I love collecting lightning crystals. What can I say? They're very useful. After fire crystals, I think I've used lightning crystals the most, really. Yeah, and then up the stairs. Here we are back on the ninth floor, the final floor of the middle Delkfitz Tower. So let's see, where's that sparkly? Now, where was it again? Um, it's at G8. We're at H9 right now. G8. Hmm. It's this way. There it is. So there's a great big Gigas here hanging out. We're gonna have to look out for him. So I think what I'll do is I'll get things ready to go. Good boy. You go that way. We got the Karita Stone, and I think we might be. We didn't lose our cover. All right, good job, guys. We did it. Oh, that's a, that's a relief. Let's go up now to the 10th floor where we'll rezone into Upper Delkfit Tower, and then that's when we're going to have to redo our little... Um, that's when we're going to have to redo our level restriction. Yeah. So we want to go north. Uh, north and then to the left. And this should be the teleporter that'll take us up. So if we ever have to go through all of that again, we could fight the thunder elementals. If we have to go through that again, we'll see. We'll see how things go on the upper levels of Delkfoot Tower. We, uh, yep, redo our restriction. Oh, what's that? That's that a ground stone? Of course it is. Item. Salon oil. Well, let's take a look at the map. Haven't been here in a while. So, where do we want to go now? We are on the 10th floor. We want to go to G9. So, where's that? Let's see. 9 is way down there. And G is just sort of... 
That looks like a block, though, doesn't it? I hope that's not a block. Uh... Alright, let me just look at what we're dealing with here. Hmm. I gotta see what this is. Straight ahead here, and yeah. So, oh, it's just a door. Yikes, look at the size of this guy. Can I operate this? No, not when I'm invisible. Darn it. We gotta get through this. Oh, darn it, that's annoying. I want, you know what? If I came here at level 91, I could probably clear this. I could probably clear this as level 91. And then come back through. Hmm. I wonder if I can take it off. Let's... We could try. Oh my gosh. We're gonna have to make a run for it. But that sucks because we're gonna have to go through this every time we come through here. That door's gonna be there. <laughs> Wow, this is annoying. That sucks. Okay, well, maybe I can do it with this back turned. I don't know. Ugh. Oh my gosh, did we get through that? I can't believe we survived that. Oh my gosh, that was that was freaky. Yeah, I remember these huge, huge ones here. Oh my god, Porphyrians. Yeah, I remember them. Okay, well we got through that luckily. Um, so we wanted to go to G9 again, right? G9. We're at. Where are we? Oops. No, nope, don't log out. Um. Yeah. I think it's around here somewhere. There's a coffer, coffer chest. Mm, well, we're at G9. see it. G9. I wonder if someone else already picked it up or something. I don't know. one other area of G9. Oh, no, there isn't. Oh, it's not on the map. Hmm. Okay, let's... Oh, my God. So maybe we're not supposed to be here. I'll try it. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to try it. Okay, I gotta get back through this door. Can you believe it? Oh, my God. What a nightmare. Okay, I just gotta go for it. Maybe we can just, like...
Okay. Let's go back the way we came. I guess we got through that. I guess these Gigasis don't seem to be very bothered by the sight of me. It's more just sound? I don't know. I don't know what triggers the Gigas. Oh, we're making noise. Let's redo this. And then we do this. See down here, this is not a dead end. This actually does go for there's another darn door. Darn it! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I god, I'm gonna try and wait for these things to turn their back. <laughs> my god. How annoying. Ah, who hell with that? Let's just go for it. Crystalline prophecy. We're we're living dangerously here. Okay, I ran through that. Items. Prison powder. We're down to our last dozen prison powders. Hopefully, the item is around here somewhere. Oh, that's probably it there. All right, so there it is. So we'll just wait for this guy to turn his back. And then I'll use my cure again. Well, it took a chance there and failed. So let's just get the item. We got the stone. All right, we got the stone. That's the important thing. <laughs> so we had a pretty good run there, didn't we? So I'll just meet you guys when we get back to this. I think we might not even want to be at this location, but oh yeah, I think we actually do. But anyway, I'll let you guys know. We'll be right back. All right, so we made it back here. So the fastest way now is to take the home point on the top floor and just go down th two floors to get back to this. So this should deactivate all the trusts. Yeah, and now I will add the prison powder. Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, it's okay. For a second, I thought there was a door up ahead. Or, or, or maybe there is. Oh, there is. I forgot. Okay. Well, oh well. Well, we wasted a prison powder. That's all right. Yikes. This is where we died. There it is. That's the spot right there. It's off the to our G, yeah, G9. So now we're going to go on. On to the 11th floor. Two more to go. <laughs> There's 12 in total. Now I think it's just right in the middle of this big room here. Yeah, right there. I think it's right near the top. So let's go... Hopefully we can get lucky and we can find it with nothing around it. There it is. Oh my goodness, there's gigantic gigas. But like I said, we're right near the home point, so I'm not too worried about this. Well, they both have their backs turned, so let's just go for it. All right, we got the stone. Oh my gosh. Yes! No one saw me. Incredible. Wow. Is this the right way? Yeah. So now we go through here. And we can go up. Oh my gosh. We did good. So that was the spy stone. Spay, spy. So that's it. So that brings us up to the... Uh, this is going to bring us up to the 12th floor, I think. And that's the floor that the home point is on. 12th floor. Yeah, that's where the fulcrum is right down there. That where the, the ultimate goal. 
So on this floor, we want to go to H7. So H7, it's right down the middle, right? It's basically right in front of us somewhere. There it is. What's around it right now? A couple of gigas. Let's go for it. I don't care. I'm just going to go for it. All right, we got the stone. Prison powder. The Salus stone. Okay, good. I think we're safe. Woo! Okay, so now I think we want to go down to the fulcrum. Um, let's just head that way because I think that's what we want to do. Southwestern, I guess. Yep, sort of. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Where is it? Yep. Wow, what a journey that was. So we managed to have a few floors here and there where we got lucky. Yeah, so... What's that? Is that us? Another grounds to him, no doubt. Yeah, but this is the home point. Okay, well, I think we just go up here now, it looks like. I think we'll just come here and use the device. Um, so here we are at the Stellar Fulcrum. And there's another seed fragment here. Yep, seed fragment. Let's activate this. Before you, a small gemstone shimmers with light. With a blinding flash of light, the stones in your hand fuse together to form a brilliant crystal. And we obtained the key item, Omnistone. All right, so there we go, guys. So now this Omnistone... When we leave here, basically, we're going to be able to use that item to enter a battlefield. And we only get one chance at it. It's one of those kinds of things. Those, one of those battlefields. So we're going to try this because I think we're only going to try this once. Because if I... I don't know. We'll have to see. Because if I... If, I, if we don't win this battle, we're going to have to go through that whole thing again. Floor by floor, collecting those stones and doing this again. So... Yeah, I just don't know if I can handle that. <laughs> so, we got head up here to the Stellar Fulcrum. Key items. Temporary. There it is. The Omnis Stone. The 12 stones resonates with each other. Their light coalescing to form an ethereal rainbow. Closely examining the lights, you can make out a faint flickering image of the Stellar Fulcrum. Alright, so here we go. Emmeline. I guess she has two names, huh? Emmeline, please. The war ended years ago. There's nothing for you to fear anymore. Open your eyes, Emmeline. Free yourself from the nightmares of the past. Emmeline. Aldo. Aldo, it really, it really is you, Aldo. Aldo, no! I'm afraid there's only room for one Aldo here. This is where we say farewell, dear uncle. Innocent blood spills forth onto the plains of Anadil. The world shudders as she is thrust into chaos and despair. Neither power nor destiny can bring an end to what has already begun. Who? Who? What are you? Aldo, this is... The prophecy of time is now at hand. Behold your fate, foolish mortal.
for you are the ones who would seek to reverse irresistible fate, to undo that which cannot be undone. You are the ones who would forsake the very love that begot you, and for what? For your pathetic material attachment to a world that was never yours to claim. What sad, piteous creatures you are. You, like this child, cling feebly to your transitory dreams, never realizing that you are but pawns in a game played by powers far beyond your comprehension. But it matters little. Just as a few grains of sand cannot stand against the roaring tide, nor blades of grass against the gusting winds, a smattering of voices cannot drown out the echo of a thousand ages. The prophecy will be fulfilled, the light of this world extinguished. Your role in this story has come to an end. But as one bright star shines through the clouds at night, and as one song rings clear above the roar of beasts, we hold to one hope in these darkest of times. That star is you, and the song is yours, and someday that hope will become our dreams, our prayers. Shine forth, star of hope. Let your song ring out across all of Anadil by the strength of our hopes and our prayers. What was split asunder will once more become whole, complete and inseparable for all eternity. So there's the cutscene. Now, examine the door. Yeah, this is the one. So, Ode of Life Bestowing. So, here we go. Ode of Life Bestowing. Yeah, and we lost the key item on this stone. So, there it is. We lost it. We got... This is our chance. Come, my children. Embrace your return to the void that birthed you. Got half an hour for this battle. Before we take a single step forward, bring our friends in. And Puru. And... Uh... Oh, I guess we're out of the uh, yellow curry buns. I should have brought something else. Oh, well. Okay, so here we go. Seed crystal. The ultimate battle against the seed crystal. So let's see here. I don't know what we have. He, he blows you back here. So we'll see how we do here. So hopefully we can get some things like haste and shell. We're definitely going to need shell for this. Alright, so let's see how we do here. Hopefully we can build up some TP. Whoa, why is there two of me? Seed Thrall? Whoa, that's creepy. They're duplicating us. I wonder if we should kill those guys. I just kind of want to concentrate on the crystal. I didn't know there was going to be little minions like that. Alright, so how are we doing here? Well, his hit points have gone down a little bit. A crystal, a giant crystal. I don't know if we've ever actually... Yeah, actually there is. There was crystals that we fought before in Final Fantasy. I know there was one in 12. Of course, that was after this. Ugh. Look at all those seed thralls. Hmm. How are we doing there? How many of those can we Oh, a bunch of them just died somehow. That was cool. Yeah, we're doing okay here. Wow, someone did something that killed all those, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. So, we almost have full TB bar. Let's go with, I guess, 
spirits within. Did that work? No, it did not. It only did 392. So I probably should have done something else. Right, let's just see how we do it. So, crystal hit points are down about almost half. Uh-oh, what just happened? I have no idea what just happened. I'm charmed. Ugh! I guess that means we died. I guess that means we died, guys, and I can't move. Wow, that sucks. We've lost. Because we're not going to be able to... Even if I can recover from this, we're not going to be able to uh, bring our uh, trusts back in. <laughs> oh my god. I can't do anything. Huh. Wow, I can't move or do anything, you guys. All I can do is move the camera. There we are. But yeah, we're basically dead now. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Well, it looks like it's hit points of all shield, too. Oh well. I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if we're ever going to try this again. It's going to be, I think, just a little too much to handle. Going through all that again. Yeah, I'm... Wow, look at that. So I don't know, maybe we have to like, maybe you're supposed to like mute the crystal. By the way, I'll just keep on going until I die, but yeah. I think we'll need a different strategy in order to do this, and I don't think I'm gonna bother. I don't think we're gonna have time. <laughs> That's kind of too bad. I guess you're supposed to maybe mute it somehow. I don't know how I would do that. I don't really don't know what to do. I wonder if there's an item I can wear that would prevent charm. That might be an interesting idea, huh? Hmm. God, I can't even, like, check to see what the buffs and, and restrictions are. <laughs> well, I don't know. There you go, guys. This is the crystalline, the crystalline prophecy. This is the ending battle of the crystalline prophecy um, storyline missions. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna use my warp. I think to get out of here because this is just gonna take too long. Oh, I'm almost dead anyway. Let's just keep going. There we go. <laughs> wow, that was quite a journey for that attempt. and That's a little too bad it didn't work out in our favor.
Yeah, so, I mean, I'm not quite sure what happens if you beat him. I guess I can look forward. I'm not, I mean, I don't really care that much. I'm sure whatever the rewards are, they're not going to help us very much. So, the Unyielding Ring. This one has a uh, Resist Charm effect. Unfortunately, there is not... It's not available on the auction house right now. I wonder how much it costs normally. Yeah, pretty reasonable. If I can find one of those, I might want to buy one. I can't buy it in the shop, I don't think. Oh, you can, but we haven't been there yet. It's in a place called Atragon. We're going to be going there eventually, but... Uh, So, there's some other stuff that can resist charm. Alright, well there's an elegant ribbon that we might be able to use. Let's see if we can find that. So there it is. Nothing here right now. Let's see, how, how often does it come through? Oh, not very often. <laughs> Hasn't been one on auction for years. Increases resistance to all status ailments. Wow, that's, that's a hell of an item. Well, that's about it. There's not really anything on here that I can use, that I can buy. Mm. Hmm. <sighs> okay. Okay, so we have another attempt here. I uh, had an afternoon free, so I decided to try this again. Alright, so I'm going to use some people that do ranged attacks. I'm going to be using Valanarol as, as my uh, tank. And we're going to have two different white mages. So, we're going to try and stay out of the area of effect of the crystal's magic. And that's it. We're just going to do our best. So let's just see. So let's just get the battle going. Yikes. I just... This is a nightmare. Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> okay, there we go. Where's the stairs? Oh, no! <laughs> Is anybody fighting this thing or what? Yeah, we're not doing very good here. Okay. So I think this might be good. See, I wanted to get Valanerol going on it. That took a little while. Ugh. Anyway, let's just see what happens here. I'm just going to sit back here for a while. Maybe I can cast some magic? I don't know. Yes, I guess we can. Holy two. So I actually shouldn't have um, equipped the sword because those clones that come out use whatever weapon you're sort of holding, but anyway. I'm just going to stay back here and let the trusts handle it. Let's see how they do. We're at a higher level than the last, than the first time we tried this. The trick though, I just, yeah, if, if we get uh, cursed, we lose all the trusts right away. 
We have to try and stay away. We have to stay out of that. Well, the laterals sort of doing all right. I'm hoping the strategy works because I really don't want to climb this Delphic Tower again and do all this, collect all those stones again. It's just really, really annoying. <laughs> I wonder if I can reach the lateral from here. I think this might work. Seed crystals going down. I think that's good. Oh wow, that was tough. I think we got it though. So that's sort of the best strategy for doing that. Fools, you truly believe you can escape your destiny? This is the will of the crystal, that which gives life may take it away. Now look upon the destruction of your beloved Vanadil. The will of the crystal. Giver of life. Ha! Don't make me laugh. You're nothing but a twisted shadow. A perverse echo born of my sister's nightmare. A nightmare whose time has long since passed. Silence! You know not of which you speak. The destiny which you would deny was prophesied long before your world came to be. The door to paradise shall open, and Vanadil shall return to the darkness from which it was born. The tides of faith will not be turned by the likes of you.
Ah. Why is she stepping on that girl? Well, this is a long sequence. So basically, I don't know, all these little bits of life force or so are being drawn out of all the people of Enadiel. They're being drawn up to the crystal in the sky. I guess all life. Could have edited it down a little bit, I think. You don't really have to show every person. But it's a nice idea. We're all connected, right? This, this light, it is. Impossible! The ancient echo resounds through time and space. The seed crystal radiates the primordial light of creation. They cannot be extinguished by the likes of... But how? This is the power of the Antiphon. This is the life force of Altana's children? As the legend began, so too does it end with a stone. In ages past, the dawn goddess, stricken with grief, sought to restore life to her fallen beloved by bestowing unto him the light of the true crystal. The crystal shattered, and in the bodies of countless mortals, the twilight god was reborn crystal's holy light extinguished evermore. Paradise was no longer, and a new world of mortals was birthed in its stead. That world was called Vanadil. Aldo? Could it truly be you, Aldo? My brother? Aldo, can you hear me? Please, open your eyes. Emmeline? Aldo, but this is only a dream, isn't it? A fleeting illusion that will vanish without a trace before I wake to the light of a new day. I will carry on with my other life, with no memory of who I once was, with no memory of you, nor what you mean to me. Why must this be, Aldo? I don't want to leave you again, nor do I, Emmeline, and yet, even if we never meet again as brother and sister, just the knowledge that you still live under the same sun and stars in this world of Vanadil, somehow that's enough. Ugh, it's cheesy. Farewell, Aldo. And 
so it was that this chapter of the legend drew to a close. But even now, in a far corner of the world, another yet untold chapter of the legend. Another verse of the ancient song is being woven. By a child of the past, one who has not abandoned her dream. But as one bright star shines through the clouds at night, and as one song rings clear above the roar of beasts, a vast ocean of glittering crystals illuminates the midnight sky, a cosmic wind carrying their light through time and space. Shine forth, star of hope. Let your song ring out across all of Vanadil. And then one day, in a time to come, What was split asunder will once more become whole, complete and inseparable for all eternity. That world was called Vanadil. Never to be forgotten, Vanadil. We received the ebony key for completing the crystal. And that essentially wraps up the quests for the crystalline prophecy uh, side storyline. Um, now we want to use that ebony key. So there's one more thing we need to do before we finish the uh, episode. I'll meet you guys at the Tenshoto hangout at Lower Juno. Here's the Ten Shoto Hangout. We're going to go to the Magical Treasure Coffer. I'm going to open that one up, and uh, we're going to use a Crystalline Prophecy key. Um, oh, I guess we could have opened these earlier? I don't know. But we're going to be using the Ebony key. And it's a Prismatic key as well for the scenario completed. Well, let's just click on the Ebony key here, first of all. So I'm sure... I think that's the one where we get... Oh! Item ring. Hmm. Okay, I guess we could cut. We could have gotten that earlier. I don't know. <laughs> but I guess, um, yeah. No, I guess we're doing the last one, the prismatic key. Yeah, this is the one where it gives you three different choices. Uh, we can't really wear these bottom two ones, so I'm gonna go for the Nuev the Nuevo Consulet, which a paladin can wear and gives us. Strength plus five and an increase to our hit points and a bunch of other goodies. So we'll take that one. And we can augment it by adding some other some other things. What's this snapshot I'm under? I don't know. Um Double Attack. I don't know. Attack plus ten, I guess. And the second augment. All right, so there we are. We got a critical hit rate increase. All right, and that's it. So now we got another piece of armor that we probably will never end up wearing because I'm already actually at this point where I came back for a second attempt at that crystal, already maxed out my levels. And you're going to be seeing me doing that over the course of the next little while. I actually have a completely different armor set that I'm using right now as well. I kind of went back to the gallant armor just so that it would be the same you know, armor that we were using for the majority of that episode. 
but it works, you know? Anyway, we just developed a different strategy and we were able to finally take care of that crystal. And now we're ready to move on to other adventures, which we'll be getting to. Including some of the other storylines like the Chanteau to Ascension, which I think we're going to be dabbling in for the next episode. So, thank you everybody for watching my video today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the link below. I'm Oko, and I'll see you all on the next episode of our playthrough of Final Fantasy XI. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, right on. There's a little cheer. Have a good day, everyone. Bye for now.